I will talk about optimizing your game with conversion funnel and store listing experiments. This is Tap Ventures, a game by Underwater Apps. You've seen this game before. It's a studio based in Armenia. Underwater Apps came across a few common challenges, such as how to increase revenue per user, how to get a better understanding of your user's price source, and how to grow the game's user base. We've worked with Underwater Apps to overcome and address some of these challenges. Let's start with challenge number one, and I'll talk a little bit about the player stats API. So the challenge was how to increase revenue per user. The player stats API, which is part of Google Play Game Services, helps you to predict user spend and churn. Here are three simple ways how to use spend and churn prediction for better experiences. You can invest in users who are predicted to become spenders. You can, the make, you can make the game easier for gamers predicted to churn, or you can just show ads to users who are predicted not to spend otherwise. Underwater Apps made a simple change and implemented the Player Stats API to predict spend behavior of the newly acquired users. They didn't show ads to users who were probable to spend. This simple change increased IIP count by 15%. Now to challenge number two. How to get a better understanding of users by source. Let's talk about Google Play's conversion funnel. The conversion funnel simply shows you visitors, installers, and buyers by acquisition, acquisition channel. If you would like to take action to increase the number of installers, you can launch a universal app campaign directly from Google Play's developer console. Ads will be shown on Google's search network, including Google Play, YouTube, and Google's display network. Launching soon, you will find a country breakdown of Google Play's conversion funnel. You can drill into performance in your key markets and learn about underperforming markets too. If you learn that the store listing visitors to installers conversion rate in a specific market is below your expectation, you can launch a store listing experiment to improve performance. Now to challenge number three, how to grow the game's user base. And store listing experiments allow you to find the most effective graphics and text for your game. Absolutely no coding is required and it takes only a few clicks to launch store listing experiments in the Play Developer Console. You can test icons, images, videos, and text descriptions. Here are three recommendations. Use global tests for icons and graphics. Use local tests for localized text and graphics. And coming soon, you can run multiple localized description tests at the same time. Don't forget, your Play Store listing matters for all traffic sources. Here you can see an example from underwater apps and their store conversion rate increased by 29% just by updating the icon design. Check out our new features and get in touch via the link that you can see on the slide.